Last night around nine o'clock, or excuse me, last night around uh, seven o'clock, we got a 911 call that there was a missing person in the lake. Um, so we deployed our dive team out to the area of Coos Hollow, off Prairie Creek near the marina. Um, we deployed the dive teams, our search teams, um, during that time till about 1 a.m., 1.30 a.m. Uh, we were also searching actively and could not um, find the missing person. Uh, so we resumed this morning. Um, since then, we have we're covered, we're covering about a 200-acre area in that area of that Coos Hollow. We still have not located the individual that we were looking for, and the, uh, the name is uh, Myra Hilaro. But what had happened is um, the boater was out boating and um, really kind of just in a circular pattern looking and, and uh, a passerby or saw it and thought that something um, might, uh, they may need something. So he, they came over and asked and that's when he found that if, uh, somebody had fallen over the boat. Um, and it was on the bottom. So like I said, we have broke up. So we're currently searching different grids. Uh, working from the shoreline all the way out to the middle of the channel. It gets up to over 100 foot out there in the middle so it's it's kind of hard to see images and a lot of trees the further the further uh, east you go there's more trees and stuff in the water the further west you go back towards Prairie Creek the bottom is pretty pretty clean so we, we get better images from this area than this area so it takes a longer to go through to kind of to kind of sort the images and see what you're looking at the rock piles and things throw shadows and it makes it makes things hard to kind of pinpoint but we can't send divers down in 100 foot of water for more than just you know probably a minute and a half at the most so basically dive straight down on an object and then if it's not dead, they come right back up. So the more shallow the water, the more of a search area they can do. But the deeper you are, the more oxygen it takes, the more it's hard on your body, so that's come up with it. So we only want we don't want to dive anything too too premature. We want to identify a few targets. We'll have everybody review the maps and we'll pick three or four of them and they'll start diving on them and see what they can find.